Hello and welcome to Thought for October the 24th. Our readings are 2 Chronicles chapter 20, Daniel chapter 2, and John chapters 20 and 21. And our thought is Rabboni. We live in an age when scriptwriters, film and video makers employ very vivid imaginations to often create pictures of impossible scenes and events. We too can use our imaginations, but in a far more profitable way. Let's take examples from our readings in John today. In chapter 20, Mary Magdalene is weeping outside the tomb because it is empty. Through the veil of her tears, she turns around to see a man standing there and assumes he is the gardener and thinks he just might have removed the body from the tomb. Sir, she says, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him and I will take him away. Chapter 20, verse 15. What a request. What a distraught state of mind she had. A state of the deepest grief. She had come to touch the body of her beloved Lord for the last time. And the body had been stolen. What anguish. Can you imagine it? Jesus utters one word. Her name. Mary. Now imagine the compassion in his voice a compassion she had heard before many times. Does she instantly know it is him? Rabboni, teacher, this is the one word she exclaims, a huge question mark in her voice as her mind does a somersault trying to believe the impossible. The authorised version is not a good translation of the words of Jesus, touch me not. Modern tra versions have words like, do not cling to me, go and tell my brothers. We can reasonably imagine that Mary almost threw herself at Jesus, scarcely daring to believe this person was real. What emotion, just imagine. Those who regularly read their Bibles get frustrated when they watch many of the movies, DVDs about some Bible story because the producers over-dramatise and exaggerate and add things into it to make it more dramatic. But all who are regular and careful Bible readers can use their imagination properly, intelligently. Put your imagination to work on the climax to the fishing scene in chapter 21, verse 1 and onwards. The dawn was just breaking. Not easy to see. Can you imagine yourself as one of those fishing? Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.